congratulations. World Grand Prix, as you said earlier, has been your nemesis, but you're sat here now in the quarterfinals. Must be a nice feeling. I don't know. I think I've got a pin to myself. It still feels like a dream, to be honest. I did. I've always looked at this tournament and, and just, I think, I think because the double starts such a leveller, um, I did, I did, I always, I could hit 100 and, 101 at it. Well, maybe not, because I've never done that. But even if I could, I'd probably still feel like I played bad, you know, just, just because of the, the, the chops and changes in it. But no, nah, um, today, yeah, to get through means a lot, actually, because I thought I'd never win a game here again at one point, you know. After eight years, do you finally feel that you've mastered it in your head? Because I remember speaking to you a little while ago that you just couldn't get your head round it, you had no plan. Do you feel that you've got that bit sorted now at least? Not in that third set, 2 <laughs> nil down, you know. I'm still going through my own demons with it. And I did uh, sort of like 2 nil down. I think that leg, what I lost to go 2 nil down, I've kicked off 1 5 6, I'm in control of the leg. And I've clipped double eight, going for double 16, right in the top. And I thought, oh, here we go again, you know. Nothing, nothing short of emotion with me when when it comes down to that stuff, you know. But um, no, nah, just um, look, it's a hurdle broken. I actually, I think the tournament's great, but for me personally, obviously, it isn't my favourite. But who knows, you know? If I go and win the next game, I actually like this tournament. I think. The form you've shown over the last eighteen months, are you due another major? And would it be maybe ironic if it if it was this one? I, do. I always said all the time, yeah, I've got an O in me bottom. I can say that, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. All the time, yeah, I've got an O in me bottom. Um, I'd never win this. I've always said that, you know. Um, problem is, I think as a person, you know, I'm always brutally honest and stuff. But look, if you have the luck and stuff, and I've had a bit of luck, and I've actually enjoyed it at times, getting off on 36. I've been so good on it when I'm in it, you know. Um, so, so I do enjoy it. It's just trying to enjoy it all the time when things are going bad. And yeah, sometimes I'm guilty for not doing that. I suppose. Thank you. Well, having got to this stage, the quarterfinals, having never been there before, is there a little bit of pressure off going to the next round? You've maybe achieved something you haven't achieved before. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, look, it's all about the ranking points, and and I turn up, and every year I've. Had have to settle sort of yeah second place every year whether it's first round whether it's second round it's nice to break that hurdle and look I've, I've been positive this year with it I've, I've not practiced it I've not not really put a much effort into it well nothing really but um but actually at times I'm standing up there I'm feeling comfortable you know and that's all I want I did it's not about where the darts go it's just feeling comfortable and and being familiar and looking at a score and saying to yourself because usually when I played a normal 501 I'm already six darts in front of where I want to be to the way I play the game and then all of a sudden I feel like I'm still in box one really, you know, and, and still at the start, not not sort of halfway through and saying to myself, right, you need a 140, 140 and then go out or whatever. And um, yeah, I'm probably probably struggling with the process because I leave a lot of weirder numbers than what I normally do. You've shown a lot of consistency in, in the majors this year, reaching those sort of quarterfinal stages on a on a regular basis, they've not. That's not really been the issue. Maybe the issue has been getting to those finals and, and winning those those big major events. Oh don't get me wrong. I've been stopped by a couple of special things. Um, mm. Obviously, obviously, in certain ones, I think other ones. You know, winning's a habit, and all. I think I think we have to put that out there. You know, um, when when you keep coming second, is sometimes it's, it's not the adrenaline and the pump what you want off of it to build. You know, um, but no, consistency-wise, I think. I think probably in all my time what I've played darts is the most consistent I've learnt now. If if you would have looked at me first maybe four years and I used to go win win a major or two or whatever and then and then it, nothing the next year. So so there was no consistency within the ranking there. Um, now I couldn't couldn't really put me f me finger on saying oh do you know what forty grand to defend on the ranking? It isn't that bad, you know. I know that sounds bad, but it's it's not it's not 150, and my rankings never looked as good. It's just um, I think I've adapted well to it now, and and I'm happy with it. That's that's about it, you know. Were you surprised to see the other big names in the tournament, like Van Gogh and Luke Littler? They're no longer here. They've, they've dropped out in round one. Um, obviously, no, not really. I think some of the shocks what you've had over the years in this tournament, you know, being first round and all, only six legs. You can blink and you can miss it. We do that on the floor every week, you know. Um, 
with the Pro Tours, and I think I'm a, a massive believer. Everyone's a warrior on there, you know. Don't matter if you're playing 128 in the world; he's, he's still knocking in 99 or 101. Um, the only probably difference is there that you put him on TV. Maybe he don't hit 101 where he's not used to it. But um, I think we see shocks all the time. I think I think it's just a new adapt and and get used to it, you know. Everyone had bad days and they're due for them. And, and if it happened in this tournament, you know, I, I don't think it's the worst thing. For instance, like Michael going out last night, do you know, it, it was a shock. But at the same time, look, Daryl's a previous winner and it's, it's, not, it's not that much of a shock, if that makes sense. If you don't turn up, it don't happen. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, mate. Rob, what sort of percentage would you say you're at at the moment? Do you feel there's a lot more still in reserve for the latter stages? Yeah, if I was playing straight in, I think I'm 90, 98% at this game. I can't get a gauge, obviously. Um, like, like I said, look, when it's going swimmingly, it's, it's, it, I would say I'd, I'd probably about 85. 85, maybe, if I wanted to be generous, maybe pushing 90. But it's it's one of them. It's, it's, look, if I could come out and sort of get on that run and get that crest of the wave, like a bit like tonight, the first set, I was away well and... I think if I could just maintain that, I'd feel a lot happier under it. But then obviously, he can miss a 180 in the next set, so we sort of cut that down and then you start again. I'm very fond of sets, obviously with the welds. I, do, I like the set play. I love it because you've got to do something special within five legs. I think I think most games, when, you, when you're going over the best of 31, it, it, it doesn't matter some legs you can miss and you think to yourself, oh, don't worry, I've got another 20 legs to go if it was going to go that far or 10 legs. Um, but with set play, I love the urgency in it. I love I love the way that is. It's, it's, it's obviously just dealing with a few bits with myself with the weird numbers what I'm leaving. You've got Ryan Joyce in the quarterfinals. What are your thoughts on person Ryan? I think it's brilliant. I think it's doubles well. Always it's doubles well. You know, um, funny enough, I've just seen him before, before I come up. And me and him have always have a bit of banter, you know, and I see I asked him where his pants was <laughs> when he when he busted the seventy six and the other stuff. But look, all good banter with Ryan and you know what you're gonna get off him. He's gonna be solid on Friday and um for me I d I've just gotta come in and I've just gotta pour everything what I can into it. I think if I do that, I've I've got a major chance, you know, if it clicks. Thank you. Rob, just on that tie with Ryan there. First round Luke Littler, now Martin Schindler, next Ryan Joyce. On paper, at least, it's getting easier. Does it feel like that, and how do you keep your focus? <laughs> Never feels easy in this <laughs> tournament for me. Um, nah, look, it, whoever you're playing now, I think I think Europeans are a decent guide now when you look at them, and and the players like with the PDC, the way they've done it this year, you probably got the best the best minimum 32 players in the world. What I play them to tournaments constantly. Um, I think I think with that it makes makes it harder and anyone can play. There's there's now yeah, you pick a winner out of a field of thirty two and you're probably looking at it maybe, yeah, you might swindle it down to about twenty five, twenty four. But but at the same time, yeah, it's it's just it's not important. You just gotta be selfish with this game now and the way I am I make sure that I'm right, I make sure that I'm focusing on what I need to focus on and it's not about them really, it's all about me. Every time we seem to speak to you, and even throughout the Premier League, it just seems like you're really happy and enjoying yourself playing that. Does it feel like that? That you think you've got? I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the game. Um, don't get me wrong. Yeah, been a leveler this week, but I really, I really enjoy it now. You know, sad to say, um, I did have a period there where I weren't enjoying it as much, but now we look, life's good. Everything's good around me, and I have a great balance. And I always talk about balance. I know I don't practice now, but. Um, Great balance on what I'm doing. I'm confident in what I'm doing. I always believe that that's going to work now. We're taking the time off, spending more time where actually I feel I need to do it with a busy schedule. And it probably just settles me down, makes me feel a bit happier in life that I'm still getting to do the things what I miss a lot, you know? So, um, yeah, when that changes and then we have to we have to go again and change the whole system again. But, no, probably probably... The last, maybe the last two and a half years, two and a half years, I've really enjoyed the game. You know, it's, it's um, and it's been getting better. It gets easier and all when when you know with stuff what works and stuff. You just go out there and look. Who wouldn't want this job? It's the best job for me. You know, if I was Sparky and then yeah, I'll be getting dirty every day, blood, sweat and tears, <laughs> cutting myself and and doing doing all different stuff. Look, no no half past four. 
now half past four in the morning, you know. When when I used to work, I was up there. Half past four don't exist twice in a day now. <laughs> it's quite nice, you know. So, um, no, I'm very blessed for the game. And, yeah, like I said, I've, I've got a better all-round with the team and, and the family. I've just got a better system and, and it, it feels great. I don't really worry about it anymore, to be, to be totally honest. I'll just go out there and do what I can do, you know. If I do, usually I play well. <laughs> Cheers, Rob. Thank you.